Hey everybody, Thomas Joseph here. Now, oatmeal is considered to be the ultimate breakfast food, but I'm sure some of you shy away from oatmeal because it's gluey and gloppy like this version here, and not creamy, warm, and delicious like this version here. Today, I'm gonna walk you through the four different types of oatmeal that are out there in the marketplace, and I'm gonna show you a quick trick for cooking steel-cut oats, and you will be having them every morning of every day. So starting off here, I have four different varieties of oats. The first is what I think most people have, which is instant oatmeal. And you can see that it's in really fine pieces, and that's why it cooks so quickly. It's made from rolled oats, so they're smashed oats, and they're cut into fine little pieces like this. Now here is quick cooking oats, and quick cooking oats take less than five minutes to cook. They're a little bit bigger in size, so that's why they cook a little bit longer. Rolled oats, or old-fashioned oats, which is typically the oats that you use when you're baking, if you're making your oatmeal cookies, if you're making granola, and they take about 10 minutes to cook. And so today I'm using steel cut oats. Now, there's a little trick that you need to know and you can be making steel cut oats every single morning. You just need to prepare a little bit in advance. They're different from rolled oats because they're not flattened, they're not pressed. Steel cut oats are made from the same groat and groats, by the way, are hulled toasted oat grains, except steel cut oats are cut into tiny pieces like this. So they're not flattened just like this here. They're cut with really sharp blades into small pieces. So they have more texture in the end when you cook them. So I have one cup of steel cut oats here. I'm going to add to that enough water to cover by about an inch, I would say. And now typically steel cut oats, if you're gonna make these in the morning without soaking them as I'm gonna do here, it's gonna take you about 20 to 25 minutes in the morning to actually make your breakfast. But by soaking them, you cut down the cooking time in half and it's a very easy thing to do overnight. You can do this up to 24 hours in advance. That is what I have here. Drain them and discard this water here. Place this in a pot with three cups of water. Now, you can use three to four cups of water depending on how creamy you want your oatmeal to be. If you like a super duper creamy oatmeal, then of course use the four cups of water. Steel cut oats are much better for you than the other rolled oat versions because it's lower on the glycemic index. And what that means is it slows down the digestive process of the starch into sugar, which is better for you because it doesn't spike up your glucose levels. And I'm gonna bring this up to a boil, reduce it to a simmer until the oats are tender, but still a little toothy, about 10 minutes. I'm gonna season with a little bit of salt just for some extra flavor. Now, if you wanted some of those warm spices like cinnamon, maybe a little bit of nutmeg, I don't know, if you're gone crazy, you could add a little bit of ground ginger, but you would wanna do this now. Our oatmeal is nice and thick and creamy. If you wanted to use milk here, you could absolutely do that. Just know that it will be a little bit thicker and creamier because of all of the sugar, the naturally occurring sugar that's in the milk itself. I'm gonna leave this a little bit on the looser side because I really like a creamy oatmeal. This will firm up as it starts to cool. And the great thing about steel cut oats, you could do this in a big batch. I like to make oatmeal on the weekends, portion it out into little portions and reheat it for every day of the week. I'm gonna eat my oatmeal plain, but you could certainly add whatever flavorings you'd like, whether that's maple syrup, a little bit of sweetness from brown sugar, some blueberries or other berries, maybe a little dash of cinnamon, and there you have it. Perfect oatmeal every single day of the week. Enjoy.